at YouTube, Juvenile Sixer. So today we're going to be coming back to basic hockey stopping and a little bit more on advanced hockey stopping as well. So a few of you said you're still having problems learning how to do the hockey stop and just general stopping on the ice. Some of the problems that you said that you were encountering were when you're stopping, you're getting kind of a jutter or your skates are skipping or jumping on the ice instead of coming to a clean stop. I'm going to be breaking down the basic steps of those once again to give you guys better examples of learning how to do this on the ice. So some of the problems that you guys told me that you guys were having on the ice with just general stopping or hockey stopping or even snow plowing sometimes was your skates were jumping or skipping on the ice. As I said earlier on, that's just down to either bad angle or not enough weight on the skate that's skipping. So all you need to do to avoid that is make sure that you're leaning in the right angle. So if you're leaning too much on your right leg and your right leg's stopping properly but your left leg's skipping on the ice, you need to balance the weight out a bit more and make sure you have an even amount of weight in both your feet and also make sure the angle of the skates is correct when you're stopping on the ice. So what I just showed you there was an example of your skates skipping or jumping on the ice as you're trying to stop. What you need to do to avoid that is put a little bit more weight down when you're stopping and make sure that your skates are a little bit more at an angle. So instead of having them like that, try and have them a lot more like that. So just to do that, just bend your knees a little bit more, a little bit more when you're stopping. So again, so the problems that causes the jarring or the skipping on the ice is not enough weight on that specific foot that's bouncing or skipping on the ice and also not enough angle. So I'm going to show you that same thing oh, again. I'm going to put a little bit more weight down and bend my knees a little bit more and you'll notice that that problem won't exist anymore. So coming back to learning how to hockey stop, important things you need to keep in mind while you're stopping are your weight, angle and speed. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples, break down the basic steps of learning how to stop once again and we'll also be covering snow ploughing again for all of you guys out there that are having a bit of trouble learning how to do that. So taking a look at hockey stopping, I'll show you guys the way your body language needs to be, the way your body angle needs to be while you're stopping. He's bent. So it's really important to make sure that your knees are directly over your toe caps, which is the front end of your skates. Not over too much, but not behind too much. That means that the weight will be centered towards the center of your skates while you're stopping. That's how you get the weight correct. Down to the angle, that's again down to your, the angle your knees are bent. You need to make sure that you're facing straight forward. Knees are bent, skates like that. So one of the ways that I learned how to hockey stop was by skating straight, making sure my shoulders and my face and eyes were parallel to the ice so I'm not looking down and I'm not looking up because if I'm looking up my weight's going backwards as I said previously in my other videos and if you're looking down the weight's going over the toes which means you'll be off balance. You want to be keeping a good body language so as I said knees bent looking forward and I always learn by when I'm skating along just about just before I'm about to turn my feet I kind of push my weight up and then down as I'm stopping so an example of that would be like this. So skating along up twist my feet and then stop. I wouldn't just skate along and twist my feet because I'd always find that I'd dig into the ice and fall over forward. So I've always kind of, almost kind of hopped into my hockey stops. I'll give you a quick example of what that looks like. That's how I've always learned it. As I said, it's a quick hop. I'll give you a quick example from the side. As you can see, it doesn't matter how fast I'm going, I can always stop. It's always down to what angle you put on the blades while you're stopping. 
if you have your skates too straight up forward, as soon as you turn your skates, you're going to fall forward. If you have them too far back, you might find yourself slipping backwards. I'll show you some pictures and give you the example of the kind of angle that you want the blades to be at while you're stopping. Just remember to try and kind of lift your weight up, almost a little hop, twist your feet and then stop. I've always found that always helps while I've learned how to stop. So the last bit of hockey stopping, as we said, we've covered the weight, we've covered the angle, now we're just going to cover the speed. The ways that you need to adapt your hockey stop, depending on the speed that you're going, is if you're going very, very quickly, you need to throw your weight down very, very quickly, so you come to a quick stop, so you don't find yourself smashing into things or anything like that. So all you do to change the speed that you put your weight down is by how quickly you go from the upright position to knees bent and crouched. The quicker you do that, the quicker you'll come to a stop, because you're putting a lot more weight on, on your skates. So all it is, is if you're moving forward very quickly, you want to go up, stop down real quick. So you want to just put your weight from upright normal body position to straight down with your knees bent to throw your weight down quickly on your blades so you stop. If you're going slowly, you can adapt that depending on how quickly you need to stop. I just wanted to add something else to the end of the hockey stopping video. I've had a lot of questions about learning how to stop from going fast and also going slowly. The main difference between stopping while you're going fast and slowly is the speed in which you go from striding or skating forward to knees bent, blades on the right angle, getting ready to stop. The speed that you throw your weight down from standing up to crouch down while you're stopping is what determines how quickly you stop. The faster you throw your weight down, the quicker you'll stop. The slower you throw your weight down, the slower you'll stop. So I guess it's time for me, so have no fear, believe in me. So I can say that.